Hello everybody, it's I, the Woolwitchy Big Mac, and welcome back to Sam and Max Save the World. Uh, last time we started episode one, and we're, well, we just discovered this Brady Culture Ibo stuff. Uh, now Bosco wants us to get rid of Wizard here. Uh, because, uh, he, he thinks there's a conspiracy going on, and I think there's a conspiracy going on too. So let's get back to interrogating, uh, Wizard. And in case you haven't seen the first episode of this, first off, why did you skip the first episode? Secondly... I won't, I won't be speaking too much during this, during this let's play, mainly because this is a dialogue-heavy game. So, with a dialogue-heavy game, uh, I would rather, like, you know, not talk while there's, like, dialogue going on. So, everyone, so everyone can see what's going on. So, who's Brady Culture? Who exactly is this Brady Culture fellow supposed to be? And what kind of steroids does he use on his hair? Brady Culture is a genius, and his Ibo program is a boon to all mankind. Ooh, a boon! Why don't people use that word more often? And did you know he was the star of Culture's Clubhouse in 1970? Fascinating. It's a child star bonanza. Yeah, what's the point of this Ibo? What can you tell me about Ibo? Ibo is a revolutionary new program of isometric Probably exercises to promote here. ocular fitness. You can learn to move objects with your eyes, even see through walls and clothing. What if I don't wear clothing? You gotta watch this tape. It changed my life. Yeah, yeah, all the, yeah, all those, uh, yeah, all of those uh, claims I feel like are false. Don't these things usually have celebrity endorsements? What am I, chopped liver? Oh, right, sorry. Did Bosco actually order this many videos? How should I know? And did I mention they're free? What, you just deliver them whether people order them or not? The word must be spread. Ibo is the path to enlightenment and ocular fitness. Hmm. Well, that's nice. What is? Are you aware that you're breaking the law? Come on, guys. There's no law against giving away free stuff. Unlawful deliveries are punishable under Section 9, Article 7, Title 11 of the Personal, Private, Public, Professional Conduct Penal Code. You made that up. True, but we could write him up for littering, trespassing, and disturbing the peace. I have to deliver these videos. Boy, what a monotonoid. Can we arrest him now? In a minute, little buddy. Put your hands on your head. You're under arrest. Aw, oh, come on. It's a free country. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who told you that? This guy's suffering from some pretty severe delusions. That, that gave me some whiplash right there. It's a free country. Uh, no. No, is it? No, it isn't. This is coming from someone living in America. One, one day you'll be, uh, perfectly fine. Next, next thing you know, uh, some corrupt officer will come, uh, come swing by and arrest you. God, I love this country. Seriously now, you're under arrest. Come on, you don't have to make a federal case out of it. No, we don't have to. We want to. All right. My cousin's wife's dentist loved your show. Oh, yeah. We've always been a big hit with the dentists. Gee, I wonder why. Hey, kids, guzzle soda like the soda poppers, and you'll need so much expensive dental work, you can kiss college goodbye. Max, your unbridled cynicism is like a breath of fresh air on a crowded subway. Are you anything like the character you played on the TV show? Yeah, like do you really have to hit the John every five minutes? Sometimes every three minutes. It's like having a superpower. How about an autograph for my pal, Max? You could write, to Max. Thanks for saving my life that time in San Remo. Gee, I don't really have time. I've got a lot more videos to deliver. Damn it. No time? Don't they give you bathroom breaks? <laughs> sure, but I don't sign autographs in there anymore. There was an incident. Didn't I see you on a TV commercial a while back? Yeah, what was it? Bowl cleanser, adult diapers, erectile dysfunction? All three! Oh. All three, yikes. Any chance we could get you to sing the song from your old show? Yeah, the theme song. What was it called? It was called More Than Jerks. But I can't sing it. I'm too embarrassed. Well, that's nice. What is? If you'll excuse us, we've got shopping to do. Take a copy of the Ibo video while you're at it. It will change your life. All right, we got well, one. We got Thanks. 
Well, let's see. Let's try using the bathroom. Up, oh, and the game's freezing. Probably Public be restrooms. Busy. Unholy temples to all things unsanitary. I wouldn't go in there for all the TNT landia. I'll do it. Lots of terror. Uh oh. Time out for number one. Looks like he opened his floodgates. I hope he enjoys it as much as I did. Nacho machine. Nachos. They're mine, nachos. Extreme. It, it, it's all the extreme terror. Bathroom terror level. Red. Extreme terror. Yellow. Lots of terror. Green. Probable terror. Ooh, fun. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so every time you use the bathroom, uh, uh -oh. Wizard here needs to uh, use the bathroom. Time out for number one. And and I know what we need to do. So so this game, so this is a point click game, but it's also well, it is on special. And we are running dangerously low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dangerous. Yep. So the wizard. So now, now that we have the cheese. Ooh, fun. Have, have Sam go into the bathroom door. Wizard needs to go use the bathroom again. Uh-oh. Time out for number one. And then... Wizard's, Wizard's crate. The crate that delivers Bosco's terror. So the cheese. If you really crate. love someone, give them the gift of cheese. Oh, I just can't wait to see the look on his face when he gets it. What the? Time out for number one. We're saved. That's a whole lot more entertaining when it's not happening to me. It's pretty entertaining either way. <laughs> oh, he wet his widow pants. <laughs> oh? Classic. Just classic. I mean, wait. My evil plan is being threatened. Good thing I have the other two twerps to handle it. <laughs> uh, it's still not quite right. <laughs> uh. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... I don't want to wake him up. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we can do here? Uh, there's, there's a coffee machine. I think it's the tinge of green oh, that we, makes we, this we coffee especially appealing. I take my coffee green, like my men. And then sludgy machine. Sludgies. With 100% all natural sludge. This week's flavors, wheatgrass and meatloaf. Wheatgrass and meatloaf. Uh, ooh, condiments. Ketchup, mustard, and purple stuff. As vaguely referred to on TV. Uh, freezer. Say, Max. I am not getting in that thing again. It took me weeks to get the fishy smell out of my fur. And the refrigerator. Children preserved fluids. I wonder if Bosco used the fluid sample I submitted. I hope not. And I think I think that's everything we can do here. We got the uh, we got the we got the videotape. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh. You know, we did put the kibosh on that whole terrorist operation, so... How about some free stuff? Is that why you did this? For free stuff? Was this all a part of the plot? Yes, a labyrinthine scheme in which we paid off a former child star to deliver videos to your store just so that we could knock him out via your own security system and claim an undeserved reward. So you admit it! Conspiracy humor may be lost on this crowd. All right, see you later, Bosco. Remember... We never had this conversation. What conversation? The conversation we just had. No, see, he was just acting like he'd already forgotten the conversation. What conversation? Oh, brother. Oh, brother. Yep, up. Yep, yep. Uh, yep, Wizards is, is Bosco's problem now. Jeez, that took, geez, that took, took like, like 10 minutes. Let's see. 
Let's see, uh... Caffeine rush! Sweet carbonated beverages in a pig trough. He's gone. Who would have thought such tiny legs could move so fast? Wow. You made me mess up. Hmm. All right. That might not work. Boxing glove on specs. Caffeine rush. He always sees us coming. Damn. You made me mess up. Well, let's see. Well, I, I don't think that's going to work. It doesn't really like us to run much. Well, well, we got the uh. Where are we going, Sam? Uh, actually, yeah. Let's, Let's go, go cruise for lawbreakers, Max. Goody. Alrighty. Alrighty. Now here's now, some parts of the game. Uh, in episodes, you go on chase sequences. By the way, that. Sam, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but I may have accidentally chewed through our brake lines. No, I don't think you did mention that. I guess we'll just have to slow down by violently rear-ending other motorists. Already planning on it, little buddy. Oh, ooh. Attention, fellow drivers. If for any reason we need to address you, we'll indicate it simply by crashing into the back of your vehicle. Thank you! Oh. Take the wheel, little buddy. <laughs> Have With gone. pleasure! Please accept my condolences for your taillight. <laughs> Sam 1, taillight 0. <laughs> All right. All right. Warning. Pull over or die. There we go. Hello, we're freelance police. And you are not. Ergo, we call the shots around here. Oh, why did you stop me? Your taillight's busted. But you're the ones who broke it. Your point being. Hmm, what's the fine for a broken taillight? Why, isn't it $10,000? What? Are you crazy? Uh, oh, one moment. Allow me to confer with my legal counsel. Uh, my attorney has advised me to pay the fine. Now, if you'll excuse us, we have some accounting to do. There we go. There Thanks, we go. Sucker. And, yep, yep, that's that. Let's see. We can also... Let's see, we can also shoot some stuff, like, more stuff, like, uh, I could do this all day. Let's see if we can shoot another one. Please there accept my condolences for your taillight. All right, that's it. And that's it, uh, that's, that's it, that's it for that. I didn't, I didn't do all the dialogue options, but it's, doesn't, doesn't matter. We got what we needed. Let's head back to, let's head back to Bosco. Let's go talk to Bosco. Hey, Bosco. Hey, you just gonna leave him there? Uh... We wanna buy something. Ah, uh, what you got your eye on? We got your tear gas money right here. Really? Well, all right, here you go. One tear gas grenade launcher. This is a salad shooter filled with onions. But it works. Trust me. Trust me. Now put that away before someone gets hurt. What do you mean? Yep, there it is. The 10,000 just cover the cost of materials, you know? Oh, I'm sure. It's okay, everybody. I'm all right. Yep, and just like that. Van. 
Hmm. Yep. Suspicious. Well, well, we, well, we have at least, we at least have something to be able to uh, deal with uh, this guy here. Hey, quit it, brain freeze. Looks like this stuff doesn't work on people who wear glasses. Hmm. Interesting. So we, you know, we can't do it with can't do it to. Uh, Uh, ooh, do we have a bowling ball? Nah. Nah. Well. Yep, so we can't shoot him. We can't punch him like a mouth. And the, uh. And the salad. The salad thing doesn't work. Well. Well, let's. let's we haven't really gone to the uh, other side of town. Uh, if, if the game will let me run. There we, okay, there we go. Just have to click on this. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, well, we did. Uh, and, oh, here's the other spot we can go to. Sybils. Yeah, yeah let's go to Sybils. Because we haven't been here yet. Welcome! You look like you could use some therapy! Not from a wide-eyed circus freak like you- Hey, it's another one of the soda poppers! Me? Right, you're, uh... Peepers! I don't know what you're talking about! My name is Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist! Sybil Pandemic? Are you sure your name is Sybil, not Peepers? Absolutely! Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist, that's me! He's trying to pull a fast one, Sam. Where's your gun? Violence is not the answer. Since when? Sam, we're dealing with a dangerously delusional psychotic here. Obviously. Yeah, obviously. Sybil's normally a girl's name, isn't it? Must have been tough while you were growing up. Why do you think I became a licensed psychotherapist? Could we see your driver's license or some sort of ID, Sybil? My psychotherapy license is hanging over there on the wall. How about something with a picture on it, you obvious lunatic, you? I could draw one on there if it would put your mind at ease. Oddly, I don't think it would. You're a dead ringer for peepers from that old soda popper show. I get that a lot, but I'm Sybil Pandemic, licensed psychotherapist. Right. Yeah, I, I don't think you're fooling anyone, bubby, or bub. How about a little analysis? Certainly! Tell me what's bothering you. I've been feeling less frisky than usual. Well then, you might try Brady Culture's yeah, Ibo video. That'll put a spring in your step. Your eyes, too! Ibo? Yes, my runny, poached, egg-like eyes could use a workout. You won't regret it! Have you got a copy of this cockamamie video? I'm all out, but they probably still got a truckload or two over at Bosco's. Enough said. Yep, we already know about Brady Culture and all that. Excuse me for a minute, would you? Sure! Well, is that two chair? That looks comfortable. Oh, it is. How would you know? You don't have a tattoo. Don't I? Couch. I've got half a mind to stretch out for a little bit. I think you have to stretch the whole thing, or it rips. You baffle me sometimes, Max. Tattoo designs? I think those might be iron-ons. Convenient and painful! A surefire hit with the average consumer. Tiki. Ah, the Tiki. Hold over from the days when you could sell all kinds of cheap crap without a successful children's television show. Envious? A little. Let's see. Newton's balls. Can I play with that? Ah, it's good exercise for the eyes, but Brady Culture's Ibo video is better! Got this. It's eerily lifelike for a fake plant. The same can be said for a lot of our friends. Fox. Ah, taxidermy. The dead are truly the kitsch of the living. And vice versa. You're an unfathomable well of something, Max. Relax sign. That may be the least relaxing sign I've ever seen. What about the one at the barbershop that says low fatality rate? I stand corrected. Diplomas. Impressive credentials. Thank you. It's getting late. 
Hey, Sam, if it's always getting later and later, then how come it's early sometimes? That's one of the great mysteries, little buddy. That is actually kind of fair. That, I think that might be the smartest thing I've seen Max said throughout this entire uh, Let's Play so far. Thank God! I've been locked in that closet so long I was starting to invent life stories for the mothballs. I've got to sit down. Oh my God! He's still here? Call a cop! You're in luck, ma'am. Sam and Max. We're freelance police. Civil pandemic. Licensed psychotherapist. Nice to know ya. Arrest that lunatic immediately! I thought psychotherapists didn't use words like lunatic. Really? Does it say that in the handbook? The psychotherapist handbook or the lunatic's handbook? There's a difference? What's the charge? Assault! Kidnapping! Identity theft! Those are good charges. Some of my favorites! And what about mopery? He locked me in the closet, and he's been pretending he's me. Gadzooks, why? Well, these cases can be very complicated and delicate. There may be repressed feelings of inadequate transference or latent unwarranted hypochondriac Freudianism. Come again? He's a complete whack job. Although actually, now that I look closely, I think he's been hypnotized. That, that would make sense. Great thundering jellyfish on the squishy road to mayhem. Hypnosis. Yep, that's what I said. How can you tell? He looks so normal and lifelike. I'm a licensed psychotherapist. It takes a professional eye. Can we borrow your eye? We'll bring it back. Are there steps we can take? Soothing music or perhaps some sort of invasive surgery? Shock treatment! Shock treatment! Typically, a hypnotic state can be revised after rendering the subject susceptible to new input. Sorry, I don't speak psychotherapist. You've got to knock them unconscious to bring them out of it. Knock him unconscious! Now you're talking! I can demonstrate on this guy if you'll knock him out for me. Consider it done! Alrighty. Well, good thing we have this thing. Oh, Sybil? Yes? Uh, the other Sybil. What is that? Don't worry, this won't hurt a bit. <laughs> but it will make you cry! <laughs> All right, there Please, we go. Sam, allow me. Now, peepers, this is going to hurt us a lot more than it's going to hurt you. Just kidding. It'll definitely hurt you more. Yes, sweet dreams, peeps. I can see you. <laughs> oh my, that was great. That was great. Except, hold on. My evil plan is in jeopardy. Who dares to oppose me? Hey, that was pretty good. <laughs> better, better. I think, I think... Nice work, you two. Now I can try to bring him out of his hypnotic state. Take control of your mind. I don't think he can hear you. Sure he can. He's unconscious, not dead. Minor detail. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Regain control. What? Hey, what am I doing here? What's going on? Sybil? My name's not Sybil! It's Peepers! Oh, yes, it is. Are you okay? How do you feel? I've got a bit of a headache. I had the weirdest dream. And there was someone unusual in your dream, wasn't there? Yes, Brady Culture was there! He kept telling me to do stuff. Aha! Uh -huh. I knew it! That fiend hypnotized you to do his unspeakable bidding. Peepers, what's the last thing you can remember? I remember checking in at Brady Culture's home for former child stars. He has his own nut house? Wow, we gotta meet this guy. Where can we find this home for former child stars? Oh, it's very secret. No one must ever find it. Think of the scandal. But we need to find it so we can stop the madness, in a manner of speaking. I want to help, but I just can't remember where it is. Oh. But my brothers might. They went with me. Uh, hey, I, I didn't do anything really embarrassing, did I? Nothing a simple exorcism can fix. Oh, dear. Yep, man, he's gone. Well, well, that's that. Uh, yep, Sybil's also a really great character. Honestly, all the characters in this, uh, in this series are great. Also, piercing tattoos. Uh, 
there's going to be a recurring joke uh, in the next episode. I'll explain it when we get to the next episode. And when I mean the next episode, I mean episode two of the game, not the episode. It's not the very next episode. So we still need to figure out how to get uh, how to deal with specs. But uh, for now, we might be able to go to Bosco and deal with uh, Wizard. Hello. Everybody, it's uh, Wizard. <clears throat> uh, take control of your mind. Is it working? I don't know. Destroy the intruder in your dreams. Snap out of it, you big baby. Oh, what's going on? Where? Where's the bathroom? He's back. Quick, act like a chicken. No, tell us where we can find Brady Culture's home for former child stars. We've got to stop that fiend from hypnotizing anyone else. The home? It's a 227 something. Spex would remember the street. He always does the navigating. Can you take us there? Heck no! I've got to take some time out for number one! Well, that was helpful. Oh, oh, I missed the magazines here. What do we have here? Organ Trader, Self-Loading Weekly. Oh, let me see that. Hey, Bosco. What can I do for you? All right. Uh, does we he have want to buy something. Ah, what you got your eye on? Never Nothing mind. for us right now. Okay. All right. Thanks, Bosco. Sleep with two eyes open. Yep, so we have to figure out how to, uh... We have to figure out how to deal with, uh, specs. Ooh, I, ooh, I know. We have a gun. Nope. Uh, hold on, another machine. Looks like he's got Boston baked beans in there this month. How do they stay fresh? They don't. There has, to be, there has to be a way to uh, to break it open. See, the gun's not gonna work. Let's try a boxing glove. I'd rather punch other things. Okay. Uh, bowling ball. Nah, he might put something better in there next month. Hmm. Ah, spray paint. Hey, a can of spray paint. And it's not even empty. I know. Caffeine rush. He always sees us coming. You made me mess up. Hmm. That's right. That's right. right painting the graffiti. I don't want to get into a paint fight in my good suit. Damn. All right. Uh, let's see. Alrighty, we have to do something to get the uh, deal with specs. But for right now, I think it might be for the for the interest of time, we, it might be better to just kind of end the episode off here and start off start off the next ep episode uh, to deal with specs. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the enjoyed the let's play so far. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the content that I'm doing or 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 the let's play I'm doing, please consider subscribing because I would really appreciate it. Uh. It will help my channel grow if you subscribe and, and help and liking my videos and commenting whatever and and the likes and the sort uh, will uh, help YouTube post my videos on the on their shitty algorithm. With that being said, I'll see you guys. Uh, I'll see you guys on the flip side. So until then, have a good day, afternoon, and evening. And man, I'll stumble on my words. Whatever. Good night. Good night, folks. Bye bye. Thank you.